Hello and welcome back to Dead Space 2. So in our last video, we managed to get out of the apartment to the shopping center and now we're heading our way to the Unitology Recruitment Center. Hopefully Dana, one of our friends, knows what she's doing and what she's bringing me or whatever. And now we're in the mining center, which I believe, no, the garbage disposal center, whatever. I'm not just going to bring too much detail, so let's just get over it. But before we do that, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. As well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. Please do that, that would be helpful. So with that out of the way, on to the next adventure. Okay, so since we're in the this place, let's just shut this whole thing down so we can get through it and open the door. Standing by? Yes, I will. Alright, now we can move on. Let me just see how much I have with my power knots. Four. And let's just upgrade our rail gun. Line gun, excuse me. I don't think I've done much with the stasis. Let's see if that works. You got something? No. That's just a clock, never mind. I forgot. I could just move these things out. I didn't see you. I also forgot that um, you can pull off these things. I could have just used it against him, his own limbs. Alright, since that's taken care of, let's go in. And this is a new feature. Instead of jumping on to platform during the zero gravity area, you can float into this area, which is pretty cool. Let's see. I'm pretty sure there's something over here. Some sort of secret treat or something? No? Oh, this thing. And this thing as well. Let's just go inside here to open this gate so we can move on. So that's done. Let's just head over to that area. And it's getting loud. Hold up. Alright, so what you're going to have to do is go through this room. But watch out not to watch yourself. Just don't get hit by these items. Otherwise, it'll just push you back. Just wait for it to move out of the way. Actually, those things won't hurt. All you have to do is just boost your speed so you can move faster. 
Almost there. Done. One small step. Yet another achievement done. Nice. Great. See what I mean? That flashlight thing? From my helmet? Nice. I'm just eager for something to pop out, so I can impale these guys. I could hear some of them wheezing. Right. This idiot messed me up. And there was a nod that I had to use, but I don't have any. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I should not... I should have thought this through. I wonder if there's any nods around. I guess not. And this thing is broken, so... Let me try to... If I find one, I could probably go back. And that is the reason why I keep one nod remaining. Oh, there it is. Alright, time to go back. Hopefully that... That will just make up for my mistake. And also, one thing that I failed to point out is that... Every time you complete a chapter, you don't have to save your... Progress. It just push you further to the next objective instead of uh, like for example if you're really going to complete a mission you go back and forth to the train in less in the first game and save your progress of the game to complete the chapter and here you just move on the chapter is just set right next to you all right I got everything, so now we can head back. Get out of my way, you. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back. Now let's see. Where and where am I going? And I'm guessing most of these resident residents are unitology. Oh, hold that thought. Alright, so as I was saying, most of these residents are unitologists, or the beliefs of unitology. Let's see what this has to say.
All right. Yep, I knew it. More and more candles. And I see one faking death. Oh, you're trying to dodge me, are you? Or you aren't quick, quick enough. More of these things? Man, how many of these swarms, swarmer, are going there? Ah, my speech is messed up. Hmm. I guess some of these people managed to give up and accept death so they can be part of these necromorphs. What was this saying? To join, I to survive. Yeah, that didn't last. Let me see what else. Let's see what's in here. Looks like Isaac is losing it. He's already infected and he's seeing some visions with Nicole. Cool toy robot. Keep us safe from monster. Yeah. Let's see. Let me go in here just to see. This is the marker statue. So I'm guessing the unitology center is that way. Let me get in here quick before these guys shoot me. <laughs> Taste of your own medicine, baby. Hmm. He looks rather nice as a trophy set. As a trophy set, I meant. Alright, let's see where else I should go. <clears throat> Again, my um, throat is still hurting, so don't mind me coughing and all that. All clear from here in. Let me check around here. 
Oh, great. You're not going to infect me the same way you did with De um, Franco. Of course I'm dead. Let's start over again. I told you I was going to die in this video. In this game, Blue. Alright, that takes care of that. I just had to silence this so I can focus more. Less fighting and more... I mean, less talking and more fighting. Got it backwards. But yeah, usually I... don't actually die that much. Because in the first game, I didn't die once. Even when I'm playing e hard, it's still easy to survive. But in the game, actually, I just die more. Enough talk, let's go inside. The House of Unitology, which is loosely inspired or just made fun of Scientology. And let's see what this says Divine Discovery. Most of these things has audio play, so I'm just going to listen to all of them silently. In 2214, a geophysicist named Michael Altman made a discovery that would change history. Buried at the impact site of a crater near the Yucatan Peninsula, he uncovered a divine alien presence. The Marker. The Marker spoke to Altman and revealed a plan that would unify mankind and lead them to a bright new future. the millions, people flocked to hear more about the marker and the unity it promised after Michael Altman told the world of his profound discovery. But there were those who felt threatened by Altman's message. On March 15, 2215, Altman was assassinated and thus became the first martyr for the church. Followers mourned his death but found divine solace in his message of unity. They would not allow the truth to be silenced and form the Church of Unitology to bring his teachings to the world. Today, the Church of Unitology can be found everywhere in the known universe. Its message is just as strong and relevant today as it was when Altman first revealed it. Billions of believers can be found across all social, economic, and cultural groups, and more are joining every day. Growing from a 
a small group of devout miners on Titan, the Titan Station Church of Unitology has flourished into a hub of Unitology worship, practice, and learning. It boasts one of the largest and most beautiful churches in the soul system, and is often the site of the annual Unitology Enigma Symposium. As we await glorious convergence, it is important to continue to nurture our relationship with the Marker and understand the future it is preparing for us. The Marker calls to all of us. It is our duty to approach it with an open heart and open mind. Alright, so basically this Altman person, when he discovered the, the Marker, he formed the cult and encourage people to believe his to follow his belief but fortunately he says he was assassinated since then some of his followers try to do the same thing encourage so they formed the um, unitology and all that and so forth conversion thing people when they die in the afterlife they become whole or whatever yeah, I'm not going to be putting too much details on this, so let's go into the church now. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Ah, that was a close one. Chapter 4, ready. Dana, the Church of Unitology? Why here? It's one of the few places on Titan Station that Tidemen can't monitor. Separation of church and state. No, Dana, we shouldn't be in here. This is the last place we want to be right Isaac, now. Isaac! My brother died trying to rescue you. This is important. This will work. I'm in a safe room at the top of the church. Meet me there, okay? Yeah, something tells me that this may be a trap or something special. Alright, so it looks like we have two different locations I can go. The main location is this way. Or someplace over here, which is the safe station. Bench as well. And not to mention the store. Alright, so let's see what this church is about. Let me see what this says. Welcome to the Titan Station Church of Unitology. We're glad you've come to visit our sanctuary and place of light and hope. Our tour guides are looking forward to showing you the best of our beliefs and what a meaningful and enlightening impact we can have in your daily life. There is, of course, no obligation of any kind with this tour. Kindly remember to stay with your tour guide at all times. Someone will be with you shortly. All right, let's see what I have. You know what, since I already have these things, I could try to sell it. Gift shop, reading room, and whatever. So let's go. Let's see what's inside here first. Text. Tour staff. Not that important. I wonder if the great grandson of Tom Cruise is in this part. I mean, it's maybe funny because that probably is the case that Scientology could be the link in the future Unitology. Welcome to the Church of Unitology gift shop. Find that special souvenir for that special someone to let them know you stood in the shrine of Altman today. Marker pendants made from the fragments of Titan itself are now available. Altman be praised. Alt be praised, huh? That's a funny way to say. Yeah. 
Javner and all that. All right, let's see. I think I could go with that Javner thing. All right, let me just get this. And uh, let me move this out of the way. <laughs> and some of these. A few more Javana will work. Alright, that's good. You know, I'm just going to save that one nod for now. Let me see where this leaves me. These doors lies the reading room, a place where believers are encouraged to relax and meditate on the teachings of the church. The shelves are lined with select inspirational materials, as well as a variety of meditation aids. Please respect the sanctity of this space and those using it by remaining quiet and reverent while inside. Yeah, I'm going to do the opposite of what you say. Ah, pretty nice place for a group of cultists. Let's see here. Also nothing special. And there's a nod though. Hmm. That's a pretty cool sculpture. Whatever. Nice try, bitch. All right, let's get out of here to the other side. Isaac, can you see the symbols too? It means the stars. Yes, I see the symbols. We are a threat to them. I know it. We have to work together. Work together? Who's them? What, you mean Titan? Strauss. Work with me, Strauss. Looks like he's too distracted about something. So let's just move on. Let's head to the other side now. What? Well, luckily for me, I'm right over here, and that thing is over there. Like he's ever going to pop out behind me. An audio log. The cathedral reported two pressure equalization cycles during services last Sunday. The first was minor, and only blew some candle flames around, giving Pastor O'Brien a much-needed, if unexpected, boost in his sermon. Uh, the second cycle was more harsh, resulting in a pressure snap that popped people's ears and sent several to medical. That was not needed. Uh, this guy's twitching. You know what? Just to be sure. And look... And looks like most of these people managed to sacrifice themselves so they can be converged or something like that. But not me, because I'm not part of a cult like these loonies. Uh, 
Uh, this room is off limit. Let's see what. Welcome to the Unity Hall. This magnificent library holds copies of the church's most sacred texts and is a regular meeting place for the Unitology scholars as they debate the glorious mysteries of the Black Marker. Note the intricate details of the stained glass roof forged from the hand-filtered sand of Titan itself. Yeah, whatever. You know what, let me use my javelin just to see what it does. Does nothing. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, that's what it does. Very nice. Just to be sure. Oh, you're already dead. Very, very nice about these things. Alright, let's just move around. Too much going on. Uh. You dead. Oh, this guy again. Alright, for some reason, I barely even use the stasis. Just because it's in a different button. Just kind of, just to make it difficult for me. Alright, let me just check up here to see if there's anything I left out. Yeah, there's one. All right, let's see. This elevator. Going up. Let's see what's over in this area first. Fully aware of that. Area from where I came from. And this is off limits. Welcome to Indoctrination. A church seminar is currently in progress. Please wait for the next available church associate. Indoctrination is a pleasant, joyous event where you will take the first steps into glorious oneness, that is, Unitology. Yeah, Unitology. Blah! Yeah, hold up. Yeah, that's what I think. With one mind, 
with one soul. No war, no fear, no hate. If that sounds like an ideal world to you, then look no further. Convergence is coming, and Unitology is helping it happen. Have you ever felt like you were meant to be part of Alright, that's enough of that. Let's see where I should go. That direction, but I'm not sure if that's how I'm going. Alright, there was a noise in the background. I had to silence that for a moment. So, over here in this part, you're gonna have to remove some of these parts from this area here and place them on the other side. Right. Here. There you go. And there's a text too, so let's see here. Please replace the views for the observation center door in the junction panel. Vandalism in the church is not permitted. Yeah, sure, it's, of course not. I got this javelin, so let's see what happens. That was a close one. Let me use this thing, stasis. Wrong button. Come on, come on. Messed up. Let me try this again. Yeah, these visions are pretty repetitive. This is the control room from the church. Nothing more. I see my inventory. made it out safely. Looks like I'm fighting myself. Let's just move on, see if there's anything else. 
No. Let's go. Clear. I can't see what that says. Whatever. Uh oh. So basically, there's yet another new enemy. Very scary one, too. Infidelis or something. All right, so those enemies that you're about to encounter are that you hear are called stalkers. They're more of a Jurassic Park creature. And what is that light over there? Alright, let's just get out of here. There's the door. Now let's go in. Dana, I'm locked out. There's something in the church. It, it broke the door. Hang on. I'll try to override all the gates in the area. <sighs> Hurry. There's something out here, too. Isaac, I can't unlock the elevator. Can you do anything from your rent? Let me see what I can do. Okay. Once you're through, you'll go through the funerary wing of the church and down into the crypt. It's very important you not the third. No. No, Earth Cup can't land it from here. Not through here. Dana! Dana! Important that I want! <laughs> Alright, so after that disastrous attempt, I finally defeated these things. And yes, there are more sounds in the background. Have some company over. Alright, so let's head to this area now, to wherever. That was 
was pretty easy. All right, now let's go. Thank you, I'll take that. Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's see where I have to go next. Hmm. Let me find a secret entrance just so I can go to the gift shop. There it is. Try to get rid of this. Oh, security suit. Move this out of the way. I don't think I have enough, so... Yeah. Let's just move on. Wrong one. Room. <clears throat> Let's see what this is. Attention. Please be quiet when observing the funerary rituals of the church. Flash photography and holographic imaging are not permitted inside the church. Thank you for your compliance. You know what? Forget your compliance. Or whatever. Let me cause as much wreck as I want. Like a bouse. Pretty simple, once I know how. Not that many, but at least I took care of these guys. Most of them. Whatever. I don't really care about these ceremonies. Let me just find a safe station so I can call it quits. Who are you fooling, man? For me, I'm already set. Actually, I could have just saved in the gift room, the gift shop.
And I really need to upgrade my suit. Okay, what's this then? Chapter 5. Fortunately, we're not going to go any further, so let's just call it quits here. So yeah, thank you for watching this, and if there's anything that you enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment below, like always. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.